Good afternoon. Today in Business Success in Six with Stacy, I have Mitch Hannes on here from Single Stitch in Madison. Mitch, thanks for jumping on today. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure. So how this works is we ask you six questions in six minutes about your business and share it with our clients in our community. Is that okay? Yep. Awesome. Well, here we go. When people ask you what your business does, how do you describe it? Um, uh, I'd say the motto is kind of like we sell wearable nostalgia. So it's like kind of like there's your fashion side of it. And then there's also like the fact that it's like some of these people are literally buying a memory that is on a t-shirt, you know? That's really cool. I never thought about it that way, but that absolutely gives a whole different idea when you go into a store like yours and purchase. Yeah. Like we have people come in and I've seen, I've seen a grown man break down in tears because he saw a shirt that he had in high school that he hasn't, he didn't know. It's like you bring back that memory that you didn't even know existed, you know? Totally. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. I'm got to get in there ASAP and see what kind of memories pop out for me then. <laughs> Um, what were your plans when you started your business and how have they changed? I know we talked a little bit about your living room. You want to share that? Yeah. Um, I mean, it started off, it started in high school as just like a way of me to get clothing. And for me, it's always been, I've never wanted to wear things that I saw other people wearing. I always wanted to be unique. I always wanted to have different things. So my whole mindset behind that was like, if I can go find these articles of clothing that are 20 plus years old, you know, like the odds of me seeing somebody else wearing the same thing is so much less. And it's like, it started that. And then it started where I'd have friends come over to hang out and then they end up spending two hours digging through my closet, asking me if they can buy a bunch of stuff. And then it was like, if I'm going to, I'm going to be around all this stuff all the time. I might as well start picking up stuff that's not in my size or stuff that not necessarily something I would wear, but I know somebody else would. And then I just started doing like pop-ups pretty much doing like garage it, pr pretty much a garage sale like it was just in my driveway i would do have like a couple racks put up with a bunch of tees and i guess it just grew to the point where i had people lining up to shop at the garage sale type thing and then honestly the reason i got a store for the first time was because it was like i was sick of having to set up a garage sale every weekend and it was like, why not just go find a place that I can just pay a little bit and I don't have to go through like, because I lived in an upstairs apartment. So I had to carry 800, 1,000 pieces of clothing up and down the stairs every morning, every night, tearing it down, setting it up. And then like, I had never, ever envisioned me like having a store, this becoming like a full-time job. It was always just about like, if I can make enough money. So I don't have to go work a nine to five and I can just do what I want to do every day and hang out with my friends. Like that's why I started doing this and it just grew into something way bigger than that. Very, very cool. What is the biggest way you impact the community? I would say just, uh, just like uniqueness and style and just variety and making sure that, because everything we have in our store is different. We, it's not like a regular retail store where you walk in and it's, 10 of the same shirts and different sizes mm -hmm. on one rack. Like every single thing is its own individual item. So like you can come in here and switch. You have one person coming wearing cowboy boots and buying a Toby Keith shirt. And then five minutes later, you got somebody coming in here and buying 40 inch cuff bell bottom flares, wow. you know, like it's all, it's just different. And I think for a lot of places, they don't have a spot like this. So it's like, you see a lot of people just shopping at the same stores, buying the same stuff. Absolutely. You know, um, I don't like to shop at all, but when I go into a store like yours, it's kind of like a treasure hunt. So it's not necessarily shopping in the same way. Right. Yep. And that's what I try to tell people is like, I understand how overwhelming it can be because you are not used to something like that. You're used to coming into a store that looks full, but in all reality, there's only 40 pieces in there. There's just a bunch of multiples of it where it's yeah. like, you come in here like, yeah, it is going to take, it's not going to, you can't go through a store in 10 minutes and see everything. Like it's going to take time, but it's like, you're going to find things you've never seen before. You're going to find things you didn't even know existed. So, so cool. Very groovy. What is one challenge you have faced that other business owners could learn from you? I would say just like marketing, social media, just at just experimenting different ways to bring people in, trying not to just like stick to the norm. I mean, we love doing like giveaways, like in-person giveaways and stuff like that. I mean, we don't, 
I don't put a ton of money into like marketing and advertisement. Like I honestly can't think of one time where I actually ever like paid somebody or something to do something for me. It's always just been like word of mouth has been the best form of advertisement. So as long as you keep a positive word or positive, like energy to your business, nobody's ever going to say anything negative about it. Well, absolutely. Yeah. That, that's just a good way to live life too. Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly how I think about it as well. Brilliant. What does the future look like to you? And do you have an exit plan? Um, I mean, I'm going to try to do this for as long as I can. I mean, that's obviously it's one of those things where it's fashion and you have no idea. You Nobody can ever say which way it's going or determine where it's going to go. So it's like, but the way I look at it is that it'll always be here because no matter what's in fashion or in style right now, there will always be a vintage alternative to that piece. Because that's what a lot of people, that's one thing I try to get across is like, you see Polo Ralph Lauren come out with this new jacket this year, 95% chance that is a direct ripoff of a vintage jacket that they just produced their own version of, you know, and that's any, you could give me any designer in the entire world. I mean, obviously there's always originals, but majority of fashion and clothing that is produced is just an idea off of something that has already been made, you know? Sure. Absolutely. So we talked a little bit before this. Um, what's going on in lacrosse? So we're going to do a second store in lacrosse here soon. We're working on the lease with that. Um, kind of took a little bit longer than we wanted. That goal was to open up there like relatively right after we opened up in Madison. But we just we want to make sure it's at the right spot. We want to make sure we do it right this time. The last spot we had wasn't necessarily ideal for lacrosse. It worked, but we want to be yeah. somewhere on third or fourth street. Awesome. Well, congratulations with that. We'll be looking forward to that. Thank and you. last question, all subjects open, what inspires you most? Uh, probably just hearing, like, the one thing that's going to inspire me the most would be somebody telling me how much they love the store, or how much it's affected them, and just seeing, like, what it does for other people and how much it's impacting them positively. I mean, that's one thing that I never knew never expected it to be at like this. I'd never expected people coming in and talking about how much they love the sweatshirt they got last week. Or like, that's one of my favorite things is when someone comes in less than 24 hours later, like the next day wearing the shirt that they bought the day before. Awesome, totally. Well, thank you so much. And in addition to that, thank you for decreasing the carbon footprint in the world as well. Of course. That's the whole reason we started this, I guess. I mean, it's all that's environmentally awesome. based, so. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time today. It was great talking with you. And if people want to go to visit you, should they go to a website or social media? Uh, probably Instagram. That's what we use Instagram or Facebook. They're both linked. Uh, it's just single stitch underscore Madison. I think everything we post or everything we put out gets posted on there. So if you want to stay up to date with what's new and what's going out, that's your best bet. Cool. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Have a good one. You too.